Hey there, howdy folks. T Rev here, revving it up. Uh, if you took a look at the video yesterday, I uh, probably dropped a little bombshell on some of you. Hopefully, uh, you've recovered from that. But I'm going to talk a little bit more about freedom today. You know, uh, if it was so terrible what the first Adam did, which it was in the fall, uh, and uh, causing calamity throughout the earth and, and actually cursing. You know, some people are misunderstanding that too and believing that God cursed us. God didn't curse us. God just made a statement about the fact that now we're cursed because of what we did. Not, I'm cursing you because of what you did. No, he's just making a declaration that because of what we did, we cursed the land. And uh, so if that was that bad and that significant, and it was, believe me, it wasn't, it wasn't a good thing, and it was that significant. But the scripture says that what the second Adam did, which is Jesus, was more significant than what the first Adam did. And some of us uh, Christians, brothers and sisters out there, you believe that we're born and inheriting that sin. But the truth is, when we're born, we've inherited freedom because Jesus, the second Adam, was greater than the first Adam. And he actually broke the curse of Satan, sin, and death that was on the earth so that we can be, live in freedom. And we're going to talk more about freedom. It's really the driving passion of my heart and purpose uh, is to set the captives free. That's what God's called me to in our ministry. And so be free, know that you're free. We release you to be free, and God bless you. I look forward to talking to you tomorrow.